Imagine you're a bit sloppy like me and, well, to present your code to your team or to share it online or just for yourself or your sanity, you want to tidy it up. It's a pain to do by hand. You don't want to have to do it by hand. Turns out there is a GDScript code formatter out there available already. So you run it, it cleans up your code, done. This one is not available in Godot at the time of recording. There's none inside of the engine. That's why Sconey, a member of the community, has been working on the GDScript toolkit. It's a linter for GDScript and also a code formatter written in Python that you can use to check your code and format it automatically. It's a big time saver. I highly recommend that you use it and be sure to go up the page and to star the repository as well. He really deserves it. So um, what does it do? What parameters does it have? Not too many. It applies the official style guide of Godot. So you can see you have two lines between function definitions and it will wrap your long lines in a certain way to keep everything aligned. It kind of follows uh, the black formatter for Python. With that, we're going to see how to install it. You will need Python installed on your system. On Windows, you have to go to the python.org website and just download the install installer and install it. Now, um, on Windows, you would call pip, the package manager for Python, pip install and type gd toolkit. This is the name of the package here. I'm going to increase the size a bit. Um, the thing is on Linux, you will likely have to do pip3 here to ensure that you are using Python 3 and not Python 2. That's often the default one uh, on Linux distributions. So you press enter, you let it install for you and voila, you can start using it. You don't type the name GD Toolkit to access the tools from GD Toolkit. They are called respectively GD Lint for the linter and GD Format for the code formatter. So I'm going to go uh, to my mannequin project and go down to Godot source where, uh, what file were we looking at? Mannequin.gd, right? Uh, so here I'm going to uh, keep the file really dirty. And so if I go to my file manager over mannequin, well, the colors are not too great, but you can see it's a bit dirty. I can type gd format mannequin.gd and uh, it's going to format the file, tell you it's reformatted and you're done. The changes are saved. Now, going back to Emacs, you can see it's tidy. Now, of course, you don't have to do it one file at a time. You can go gformat uh, glob.gd. So you put an asterisk and it's going to find all the gd files in the current directory. There's nothing to reformat here. So the program left them unchanged. And if you're using the fish shell like me, you can put double star and it's gonna go recursively, find all the gd script files in your project. Let's talk about that. Uh, I think there are one or two bits of syntax that are a bit exotic in Godot and that it will not handle properly. Most GDScript syntax works fine, but I think like for example, returning a dictionary directly. If you find any of these, be sure to head to the repository and to create a new issue. And with that, uh, I'll let you try it out for yourself. I hope you like this little video. Enjoy saving time when you work, like just code very dirtily. And when you're done with everything, you run GD format star star dot GD on your project. You let it tidy up everything for you and done. Thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun. Let's see one another in the next one. Bye bye.